Hey guys, welcome to 5-1 Volleyball. Today, I'm going to be doing commentary slash reaction slash analysis on a game between two teams in the Italian Super League, the top professional men's volleyball league in the world, between Piacenza and Verona. We're here at the start, at the end of the first set. Matej Kaziski, the legendary Bulgarian outside hitter, probably one of the most decorated top uh, men's volleyball players of all time, scoring the ace though there, bringing the game to within one. So time out here. I'll talk briefly about the teams. Uh, Verona, traditionally kind of a, a mid-tier team in the Italian Super League. This year lost a few players uh, due to a lower budget. Lost Stefan Boyer, the French opposite, who left to Qatar earlier on this season a few weeks ago due to a dispute with the coach, dispute with the management, things like that. We're still not sure the exact story. And then Piacenza, who you may have watched in my last video as well, a newer team to the Italian Super League, at least in their current iteration. A lot of money to spend this offseason, brought in some big name players like York Grozier, Aaron Russell. Unfortunately, Grozier is injured right now. So in his place is the Czech opposite, Michael Finger, who had a big game last game with 18 points. Let's see if he can replicate that performance today. Yeah. Okay. I spoke too soon with Michael Finger because he is... That was Trevor Cleveno, the outside hitter from France, hitting the D-ball. So we're actually seeing a different lineup from Piacenza here with Trevor Cleveno playing opposite, Aaron Russell, and it looks like Jacopo Boto uh, playing the outside hitter positions. I, I didn't get a good look at who the other outside hitter was, but that's really interesting. That Finger had a great match last time, and he's not, and maybe he's dealing with some sort of injury or uh, infection precaution, let's say. So we'll see how that, that affects the game, honestly. I think uh, Trevor Cleveno, is, I mean, to me, he's, he's kind of a strange... A uh, person to put it opposite, not really the most athletic player, more of a, a skilled, crafty hitter. To me, uh, personally, I probably would have expected Aaron Russell out of any of the wings on this team to uh, be the opposite because he's not the best passer. In fact, I've heard some American fans even float the idea of Aaron Russell becoming uh, an opposite for Team USA, uh, potentially when Matt Anderson retires, just because... Um, Thomas Chayesky, Taylor Sander, two very good outside hitters. Ben Patch, you know, maybe not reaching the potential that he, we thought he would. Aaron Russell, probably the weakest passer out of those three outsides. But anyway, tangent over. Yeah, a couple Boto. Interesting. So I, I'm, I'm guessing something must be going on with Michael Finger because Boto's a good receiver, but a little overmatched, uh, overmatched as, a, as an attacker at this level. French... Middle, Jonas Aguinier serving, easy float serve. Uh, should have expected that from Jacopo Boto. The nice tip over the block, easy there for Litter Piacenza. That's a good point for them, 22-20 in the first set here. Yeah, got to play that a bit up. I don't think uh, Boto's going to bang a line, uh, ball on the line on you too hard uh, in position one there. Davide Candelaro up to serve. Uh, also interesting with uh, we're seeing Alberto Polo and Davide Candelaro as the middle blockers, so no Sayed Musavi either. We also have Oleg Antonov getting a little confused. <laughs> I'm, not yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. He's running to he ran to go block at the opposite uh, the position uh, two, but. Michelle Varanovic is like, I need to set from here, man. Interesting. Aspar Asparov, the Bulgarian. Okay. I'm not exactly sure what Pia... To be honest, I'm not sure exactly what Pia Chance is running here. Because we just saw Aaron Russell hit from uh, position one as well, the sea ball. So it looks like we're, we're, we have some weird stuff going on in terms of who's hitting out of the back row. Because Trevor Klevin was also in the back row there. Oh, like Antonov and I a couple both. Maybe Antonov was subbed in for Boto in the front row. Let's see. 
I actually do really like it when we see these unorthodox rotations of volleyball because so often volleyball has the exact same rotations, the exact same uh, plays between every single team. You never see any variety. So when teams switch it up a bit, have players hitting from different positions, uh, it makes things a little more interesting to me personally. Yeah, so Antonov's in the front row. So no Boto anymore. Can Verona take advantage? Great dig there. Right. Setter playing the ball to Kaziski in the second hand. Nice. Great block. Big block from Alberto Polo, the Italian middle blocker there. Well done. He's a good player. I think he has a little bit of national team potential with Italy. I mean, I feel like there's so many Italian middle blockers between the ages of like 22 and, and 26 right now. I'm, I'm not sure which guys are going to be end up playing uh, in the national team. It's, it's definitely going to be Anzani at the Olympics and probably Piano as well. But then in the next cycle, it's going to be interesting who emerges from kind of a group of younger guys. Lucas Spirito, nice run to Eduardo Kaneshi there in the middle. Yeah, we just have a revolving door of players here, it looks like, for Piacenza. Yeah, bad block from Polo. Tried to get his hands up for the block, a, a little late there. All right. Verona needs to do something here. One point game. Yeah, I don't see, I don't see any Musavi. I don't see any Michael Finger, so I wonder if, if they're uh, quarantining or something right now. So Aspero Aspero, though, it's, it's nice to that we're getting the chance to watch him play. He's a, really, I think he's a 20-year-old Bulgarian outside hitter. I actually had him, uh, if you guys want to watch my top prospects in volleyball, volleyball video, he was one of the prospects. <clears throat> the guy, I, and a guy I really like, enjoy watching. Uh, and definitely going to be a strong part of Bulgaria's future, along with guys like Martin Tanisov as the other uh, big, probably, prospect they have. It's going to be interesting. Bulgaria, I mean, they're going to be interesting to watch in the future. Playing pretty soon in the Euro Volley qualifiers in January as well. Jayski, nice ball in. Uh, see, this is what I was talking about with Trevor Clevin. One of my favorite players to watch. The craftiest player in volleyball. With a nice wipe off the block there. It's tough to uh, it's tough to get the wipes from this position too with the ball coming behind you, watching the ball all the way. You're taking a little bit of a risk with the block there because look, he only looks at the block at the very last second of his attack. So I mean, you got to know that's coming with Trevor Clevino. You got to be ready for the tip, especially when you see that's such a tough angle to attack at. Anyway, Piacenza winning the first set, 25-23. I'm gonna bring you guys back in in the second set. Playing behind him a bit more. Spirito seems to be uh, really stuck going to the outside hitters right now. That's a good example of Ranovic. Trusting his middles. Davide Candelaro. Not a, not a super athletic hitter. Not, gonna, not a standout player, but very solid guy. And, you know, that's, that's a good jump. It's a good jump for a 33, 34-year-old middle. There you go. Asparov. Great shot. So it's interesting that Asparov is uh, is playing at the opposite position here. Because in the last two games, it's been the Danish uh, player Mads Jensen, who they brought over from UCLA, who actually sat at UCLA and is playing opposite now in the Italian Super League. But I don't see him here out here today. All right, behind. Okay, good read. You know the on the set like that, going to have to see the tip. But great block set up by Piacenza there. It looked like Can uh, Candelaro got the block, maybe Russell. Either way, setting up that triple block definitely took away that nice cross shot that we saw from Kaziski before. Yeah, you see Aaron Russell coming over for the triple. Great setup. I don't think he got the block, but Kaziski probably saw the triple coming, didn't want to take hit the cross again and, and hit it right into the a very, very well set up block by Condolaro and Baranovic. Aaron Russell up to serve. Great serve and an ace. Ace, ace by Aaron Russell. Triple A, Aaron Russell. 
with the ace. It's a good server. I think, you know, when you talk about great servers on Team USA, you have Taylor Sander serves bombs. Max Holt's a great server. Matt Anderson. Uh, Micah Christensen has a, has a really good serve. But Aaron Russell can serve, can serve. It's quite a strong server as well. Okay, great block. The, the Piacenza block is looking very nice today. It's looking very tight. They're penetrating, reaching, strong fingers, getting a lot of touches, slowing the ball down a lot. And Branovich, look at this. Looks at his hitters, looks who's ready, looks who's running for the ball. Sees Oleg Antonov a little bit out of position. In uh, position four, not quite ready, but he sees Aaron Russell in his peripheral vision, ready for the pipe. Great set by Branovic. All right, I'm going to bring you guys in back at the end of this set. All right, welcome back, Piacenza, ex keeping and an even extending their lead here. So this is probably going to be over fairly soon, but we'll see if Verona has a chance of fighting back here. Kaziski, that, that kind of looked like he was on the attack line. That might have been a, a front row attack from Kaziski there. Let's see if they have a challenge. Okay, we can just watch the replay. Yeah, for sure, on the line. Great hit, but, but over, yeah. Looks like most of the front court players saw it. And are we going to see a video check? Maybe not, actually. We're just going to let Jayski go. But I, I think that for sure was a, uh, was, a, was a foot on the line. See if it comes back to bite them here. Alberto Polo having a nice game, playing some good defense. Aaron Russell trying to avoid too much of a celebration. That's funny. Aaron Russell, hey, look at that, taking a leadership role. Well done to uh, to Aaron. Got to calm down the young guys sometimes. Can't showboat too much. All right, Polo. Yeah, good pace on that float serve, but a nice pass. Kaziski with a great hit. But I think, again, they're relying a bit too much on Kaziski for their offense today. And that's probably part of the reason why you see such good blocking for Piacenza because Spirito is running... Running it a little, I guess he had a single block in it, and not a huge, not a huge block from uh, from Trevor Clevino there. Kineshi with the serve, great pass, good pickup by uh, Asparov there. It looks like. Is that? That's good. Okay, good read, good read by the libero. Aaron Russell hits it off the top of the net and out, but great pickup by, uh, I think it was Scar Scarfella, the uh, libero for Piacenza there. Reading, like, look how deep he starts. Okay, they're not going to show up. But anyway, he started quite deep because he knew the only way he was going to get a dig is if the ball was off the top of the hands, and, and he read it perfectly. So great, great defense by the libero there. Kaneshi, too long there, too long. Can't do that with a with a mid tier float serve. If if you're if you're not doing a Matej Beniak style float serve, you got to put it in like 98 percent of the time. I read a good article about that anyway. I think it was um, it was one of the volleyball statistics blogs. The, basically, their conclusion was that yeah, if you're we're, we probably overrate serving hard and missing a little bit. And maybe it, it was more geared towards the college game, so it may not apply to the men's game, but missing serves can be very costly, and I think we underestimate a little bit uh, the other team making errors and giving our block defense an opportunity to uh, get the ball back for us. I mean, like, that all goes out the window when you're, like, Leon or Leal or Angapet serving, but... All right, let's see this transition offense from Piacenza there. Great job getting it to Aaron Russell, who goes off hands and out. Great transition play from Baranovic and the rest of Piacenza there. Let's see. Yeah, he's got three solid attacking options on. I think that was like the third transition hit. So good discipline from Piacenza. Nobody's getting lazy. They're all running their routes still. And they get the point. And this set is almost over. I mean, 23-17 sounds a lot better than 22-18. Let's see if Aaron Russell got an ace on his last 
the serving run earlier in the game. So good ball in, but good pass by Jayski. Kaziski, very comfortable hitting from the right side and goes off hands there with a, quite a powerful attack. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure an attack like this would probably do some serious damage to most of the fingers of the people watching this. All right, that's a good start if they want to come back. Ball's still alive, ball's still legal. Branovich comes back over. Oh no, you can't miss that. You have a blocker coming in late after making that dig. Go hard at the block there, because you know it's it's going to be tough for him to set. Look, he's a little shaky. Hasn't quite set it up. Poor decision making from JSK there, in my opinion. Not that it matters much because it's almost the match, but uh, tough break, tough one there for Verona. Candelaro going to try and end it here with a serve. Someone missed the block there completely. Did they go up with the middle? I'm telling you guys, the commit block as a left side blocker, you, you, at this level you pay for it a lot because <laughs> the, the center is going to see you nine times out of ten and, and going to put it behind them. Good hand pass there by Antonov. Russell attacking from position one, gets the score, and that's the set for Piacenza up 2 nothing against Verona. 9-5, great start to the set. Like I said at the beginning, like I think these teams are fairly evenly matched, so it's, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if, it, if, if, uh, if this game goes five sets here. But great great attack by Aaron Russell, doing very well attacking from uh, C-ball, D-ball right there. Wow, great shot by Kaziski, giving it right back to Piacenza. Also attacking from the back row, so both both teams using a similar rotation where all three uh, outside attackers attacking from the back row position one. Uh, another missed serve for Verona there. Yeah, another missed float serve. Looks like if it was Jonas Agrinier. See if Mar Michelle Varanovic can get us a rally here. Good pickup from Varanovic. Wow, great cover by the libero. And they get the point. Trevor Clavino finding the blockers out of position and getting the score there. Are they trying to call a lift on the cover there? I don't think so. I think it was I think it was legit. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe a double touch there, going off the chest and going off the hand. I don't know though. I would I don't think you should lose a point off something like that. Alright, Verona gets out of that rotation, get the ball back on a great pipe shot by Asparov, the Bulgarian, the young Bulgarian outside hitter. Again, passing there, so he was... Both teams looks like they're playing all three wing players pretty interchangeably, all three passing, all three hitting uh, the C-ball at different points. So very interesting stuff strategically in this match. Even if maybe the level of play isn't uh, super, super, super high. I mean, it's not the highest level for uh, professional volleyball, I'd say. Definitely better than than any college matches or anything like that. Antonov, been struggling a lot this year, the Italian national team player. I think he had the uh, last time I looked at the stats for the Italian league, he actually had the lowest hitting efficiency in the entire league. Yeah, yeah, way over there. That's one of the ones where you just drop, drop. If you didn't set it, they, it's, they weren't ready. Drop your hands and, and you've got a point there. That's a tough. That's a tough game time decision. They're really tough to. I don't think I've ever seen it, but if I if I want to see a, a setter drop their hands and have the ball fall on their side of the net, because it'd be hilarious. Antonov, another opportunity to serve here, and Piacenza is almost back in it since we got back in. Yeah, Kaziski saw the open court, but but they got a block touch, uh, unforced air. 
from Aaron Russell. Tough attack, mind you, but hitting the ball into the net there. Kicking himself for that. The bearded Aaron Russell. I did not think he could grow a beard like that. That is a nasty beard. I mean, yeah, the right idea, but looked like he didn't really get an approach, kind of jumping behind him. Tough one. See if he can redeem himself here. Yeah, he's going to get there. Okay. Wow, they're going to get a swing on this too. Great swing. Great save by Luca Spirito there, the setter. And a little extra setter touch there with the bump set, getting the ball to Asparov. And I love that he, sw he, uh, he attacked that ball instead of just setting it over, which a lot of players would do, even at this level. He got his approach in, even if it was from the side. And you see, good things happen when you hit the ball. Jayski with the serve. Good ball and controlled well, though. Uh, a little cute there from Alberto Polo, trying to tip the ball just over the net into position four. Misses the tip, though. And not two, two attacking errors for Piacenza and three points now. Not good. Yeah, I don't know about that because... They were ready to dig that. It looked like Asparov was ready to dig that anyway. So that wouldn't have scored. Probably given them a free ball transition situation. Yeah, they're ready for these. They're, they're reading these uh, Piacenza tips now. It's definitely been in the Piacenza uh, game plan that they're going to throw a lot of tips and roll shots at Verona. But Verona is starting to adapt really well here. It looks like timeout for Piacenza after... Another solid score from Verona. Great shot going off hands. All right, we are back here. And as you can see, Verona holding on to their lead quite well. Could still go either way. But a four-point game from Thomas Jayski with the nice attack from position two going cross around the block. Great shot from the American outside hitter there to make it a four-point game. Spirito, nice set. Tough angle on the set there, but easy for a guy at this level. Thomas Jayski, can he get two points in a row with this serve here? Ooh, close one, looked close to me. No challenge though from Verona. Going to give Piacenza a chance to serve and Verona a chance to play their side out game the rest of the way here, which they should be able to do given how they've been playing the set. Alberto Polo, easy ball in. Good. Great dig from Aaron Russell there. Kaziski with the shot. That looked into me. We'll see. Will there be a video check challenge here? I think that looked in from Matej Kaziski. But we'll see. It's tough to tell a lot of the time. But look, if great save by Aaron Russell laying out for that ball, the one-handed dig, that was great. Uh, I don't know, the bench, the bench had a really good angle there from Piacenza, they're saying out. Yeah, great dig from Aaron Russell, that's one of the digs of the game so far. Let's see, sideline angle, way out, way out, way out. Oh, okay. And I guess, man, I don't know anything, guys. That's, that's what we learned. I think I'm like 0 for 4 on video checks while doing these kinds of videos. Oh well. This is why we have the video check system. Human eyes are not reliable at all. All right. Trevor Clevino up to serve. Can he bring them back into it a bit here? Let's see. Goes for the jumper off the net. And another score from Kaziski. He is on fire today. He has been scoring everything this set. Well done from Kaziski. Let's see. Okay, they have a few opportunities to bring it home for Verona. And Mikte Kaziski could easily get an ace here to put the icing on the cake of this set for him. Good ball in from Antonov. Good score from Russell. Solid side out from Piacenza there, but might be a 
too little too late for the Italian Super League team. But Aaron Russell, we saw him with an ace already in the first set. So let's see if he can do it again. Get them back on the board here. Give them a chance. It's tough though. 24-21. Not a lot of room for error for Aaron Russell. Great ball. And this should be it here because this... Uh, little miscommunication on the timing there. Uh, but it doesn't matter. The block, the triple block from Verona finishes the set and we are going to go to a fourth set here. So I will bring you guys back right after the replay. Let's see. Yeah, great timing. Pause. You can see beautiful timing. Great synchronization on that triple block. Everyone gets over at the same time. Oli Antonov not even trying to go for hands, trying to find the way through that block. But they had it set up so nicely, there is no chance. All right, guys, we're back here in the fourth set. Tied game here, 12-12 with Aaron Russell up to serve. Good moment to come back into the action. And a good shot by Eduardo Kaneshi. Diggable ball for sure. Diggable ball to the tee there. A little silly. Probably Trevor Cleveno feels. Let's see what he was thinking on this play here. Oh, bad defense. Got caught leaning on his heels. Can't do that at this level. In volleyball, got to play all forward on your toes, especially when there's a middle like Kineshi. Who knows probably going to be able to tip it like that. Asparov to serve. Great reception here today from Piacenza, but bigger block from Luca Spirito. A setter with a, big aside, a bit of size at about 6'4", 194, 195 centimeters. So he's got a bit of size for a setter, which helps in situations like that with the block. You know, I think I'm, I'm actually a pretty big fan of Luca Spirito. I know... I know he's not the most uh, well-liked setter overall, but I think he's actually done pretty solid for the Italian national team in the few appearances as he, that he's had. And, you know, I think he is probably, yeah, probably the third most valuable Italian setter. Maybe maybe fourth, depending on what you think of Dragon Travica, but after Spritolian, obviously, Gianelli as well. Although David, Davide Seda is playing very well this year as well. So quick timeout here after the score by Jayski. Ah, uh, Cleveno, bad defense again from Tre Trevor Cleveno. Come on. Ah, uh, tough one. Spirito had his eye on that dig. He knew that wasn't coming back up though. Jayski all smiles, hoping to bring this one to five. Michele Boranovic up to serve. Gets the top of the tape. Matej Kaziski with the back row attack. Great dig by Boranovic. Let's see what Oleg Antonov can do with that ball. Are they going to go to him again? Yeah. Uh, and gets the ball off the hands of Spirito, it looks like. Good recovery there for Oleg Antonov on the second attack of the rally. That's not always easy to do, to attack multiple times. But yeah, had a really nice angle. Great set by Branovich in the transition play there. Allowed him to get the hit ball off the hands of, of Lucas Spirito, who's been doing a great job blocking today. Wow, slam. The slam by Trevor Cleveno, who, I don't know why, but he, I mean, he's, he's quite a technical blocker, but he always seems to get these like gigantic slam blocks. I don't know if people underestimate him because he doesn't get a huge amount over the net, but you saw the great penetration from Trevor Cleveno there to get the slam block. Okay, so it was one point tie game here for Verona versus Peach. It's a little confusing sometimes. That's another error for Alberto Polo. I, it looks like Alberto Polo is doing a bit of a, almost a hybrid, like Matej, Bini, at Graham Figras, like super float uh, serve, where, where you float it, but you put a lot of power on it. So it's a little riskier of a serve than a traditional jump float serve, like Jonas Aguinier is going to do here, as you see it, where the goal is to make the ball float as much as possible, whereas I like to call them power floats. You want to score with a bit of pace as well, but... Missing multiple serves with a float serve is, is tough. So Matej Kaziski playing really well this match with another score there. The middle coming in with the second hands. And Kaziski with the score. Great play there. 
nice hands from the French Jonas Agunier to set the ball for my take this game. Yeah, great read from Trevor Cle or no, yeah, Trevor Cleveno there. Damn, man, he is he is such a smart player. He saw the rebound off the block there. Look how look at look at this read. Yeah. He's the first one to the ball by far. Smart. Watching the ball come in. Let's go. It goes with this signature hybrid serve. And Piacenza here. Let's go. Can they set up the triple? No, the ball is out though. Kaziski with a rare miss this game. And like that, just like that, Piacenza back in the match. Tie game. I mean, they were relying on Kaziski a lot for uh, for pretty much every point here. Thomas Jaski getting blocked. Kaziski sees the double. Maybe he's trying to go around it, but just a little too long there. So let's see Trevor Cleveno, one of the better servers on Piacenza. The opportunity to give them the lead for, I think, the first time in the set. Good ball in, though. Good pass. Aspero. Oh, no. Breakdown on communication on who's going to get that second ball. Who, who I don't know. Who, where did it break down? Was Baranovic supposed to get it? Uh, no setter in the rally. A little confusion. They don't realize that probably... Should be, should be uh, Oleg Antonov's ball there. He's closest to the ball. But they didn't talk about who was the designated setter with uh, Tondo and for Baranovic. That could be costly for them. Always be talking, communicating. That's a costly error. But Aaron Russell saves them. A little slap on the, on the post there. Excited about that play. He's, he's been struggling a little bit on some of these out-of-system balls. But gets it there. Great cross shot. We saw him put those into the net a couple times earlier, but he finds the angle this time. And again, a good server, Aaron Russell. So let's see if he has the muscle to put this one and score right now. Bonani's receiving pretty well, though. And Kaziski. You can take the dog out of the fight, but you can't take the fight out of the dog. Still doing it in his late 30s. What an extremely, unbelievably talented player. And man, he's still got a good vert for his age. Like, look at that. That's pretty good stuff. Matej Kaziski, man. And he's passing the torch on to this guy, Asperov. Who has an opportunity here to win the game with the serve. Puts it into the net. Tough. That was a great opportunity to, you know, let Verona's blocking do some work there, but no dice. All right, Davide Candelaro gonna put a gonna put a floater in here. Uh, tough. Yeah. And that's what you don't like, Oleg Antonov, with the absolute slam block on Kaziski. Tough. It's tough to see the block at that angle because of where the ball is being set from position six. Tough to see the block and the ball at the same time there. And uh, Kaziski paid the price for that bad pass with the ball straight into the block. Let's see, match point for Piacenza here. All right, they have an opportunity here. No Tondo in, so they get a set. Okay. Yeah, they're waiting. Trevor Clavino's got the nice second hand. And wow, the good rally. Oh, no. Piacenza with full points. And the block on the middle. Attack on two. I like the idea, but great block. Let's see who's in the front row there. Alberto Polo. Let's see. Let's see this read here. Yeah, he sees too obvious. Weak attack, too obvious for a player like Polo, who's like six eight, six nine. He just needs to, just needs a little tiny jump to get his hands above the net. And so, when yeah, bad decision making at the end. Anyway, guys, great game here, a back and forth, great last set. I'm glad we didn't get another three nothing here. Piacenza stronger and stronger, and, and look, they had a, they were missing a couple key players, Musavi, your grocer, but they still got the three one win.
Piacenza, let me know in the comments if you think they are a threat in the Super League. Where do they where do they stand? Are they the third best team after Luca Perugia? Maybe Modin is better, maybe Milan is better, but to me, I, I think they're in that, that second tier of teams with Modena and Milano. So I hope you guys enjoyed another edition of Volleyball in English, Volleyball 5-1 commentary, and let me know which teams you'd like to see next.